In this video, we're going to go over a new service by Dialpad. It's actually free, called Dialpad Free. It's going to give your business a free business line with up to five extensions for your teammates. It's going to give you conferencing, video conferencing, chat, text, all that good stuff for absolutely free. So stay tuned for this video. Hey, this is David with TechSmart Boss here with another video. I'm gonna take a look at this product called Dialpad. Now, I've actually been a user of Dialpad. It's one of the tools I recommend. I've been using them since they were called Switch, so for a couple years now. And before that, I used Grasshopper and OnSip and Skype and I mean, anything you can imagine. I really like these guys, but what prompted me to do this video is they just came up with Dialpad Free a free version of their product and it's pretty good if you're looking for a single phone number and you have uh, up to five people in your team so you'll see here it gives you one business number and five extensions uh one of the if we go to pricing it gives you a good breakdown that shows you that it's just very simple they're going to give you one of their uber conference lines i really like those as well one to five free users company number now what i'm on is the standard plan and that's very great for me i have a sales department a support department i have one that i can use but i also have requirements where i have like some 800 numbers in there i've got uh, multiple uh, teammates who have direct dial numbers i've got a fax number up in there so i've got a, a bunch of stuff in the standard so i'm on standard so the free wouldn't work for me at this point but if I was looking for a starter, uh, really powerful phone system, Dialpad would be where I would go with this free option here. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a Dialpad free for TechSmart Boss and show you the process as I go through it. So one of the things I like about Dialpad is it integrates so well with Google Apps, which, of course, is our recommended uh, platform. But... Even if you're using Office 365, which is our other recommended platform, it works really well with that as well. I'm going to go ahead and sign up with Google, and I've already sort of pre-logged in to my TechSmart Boss account here. So I'm going to go ahead and allow Dialpad access to that. You know, it will use that integration to actually allow you to quickly provision and add in other users who are members of your Google account. So it just re really makes it really easy to do that. All right, so I selected Dialpad Free. That is correct. Select your office number on the area code. So I'm going to put in 703, which is Northern Virginia, for those who do not know. And, okay, it gave me a, a 202 number. Now, I will say that's not ideal for me because that's Washington, D.C., and I'm not in D.C. I'm in Virginia. So right off the bat, it looks like the free numbers that they're offering, uh, looks like they're they're grouping them around large metropolitan areas. You might not get one in your zip code. That's basically what that tells me. Uh, it's free. I'm not going to complain too much. You could probably get your own when you upgrade if you need it. But 202, I'm going to go ahead and confirm that. Uh, now, it wants me to actually call my mobile phone. So what I'm going to do is blur this out. You guys are not going to see my mobile phone. You're not going to be... Uh, calling me on my mobile phone. Now, you can always email me at david at techsmartboss.com. Uh, so it is actually ringing my phone now. Let me go ahead and answer this. Press 1 to verify this number. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's just doing a little simple verification to verify that that number is mine. And All right, that process is done. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put in some information here, TechSmart boss and you know of course you have to put a address on all your emails you sent out so uh i'll just let you see this is our official address not my home address or anything like that so don't get any ideas there corporate drive suite 600 but if you do want to send me some nice gifts or some mail you could definitely do so to that address there all right continue uh great Glad you fixed that for me. Now, we've got some terms of service. So one thing you have to understand with any of these systems is, you know, E911 um, is important. Looks like you're only going to get the E911 service through the paid product. So definitely something to consider. You can't be using this free one to call 911 if you get into an emergency. You might not want this to be your only kind of phone. Um, understand all the terms and things like that. Normally, I do actually click on those to read, but I'll do that uh quickly and look like I'm, I'm there so this is really really seamless to get started now it does okay this looks ex exactly like 
the interface that I use on the standard plan. I'm sure they've re reduced some features. So what I'll do is walk you through how I use this. Now you'll see here, uh, they give you a little onboarding to get you started. Invite your team, set your company up, download the apps. That's what I really like about Dialpad, the mobile apps. Uh, record your voicemail green. Let's go ahead and get out of that. So you'll see I've got my dial pad number. I've got my Uber conference number. The Uber conference is another thing I'll do a whole nother video on, but I really like Uber conference. Uh, all this is pretty set up. Now I can go in here and record a greeting on my voicemail. Uh, I can set up my ring duration. This is actually something I hadn't seen before. I hadn't been in here in a while. I can set up some advanced missed call routing. So if a call comes into my business line here, send to voicemail, send to another team member, send uh, these probably will be grayed out since in the free, you can't have departments, yeah, office main line there. So that's pretty, pretty nice. Let's take a look at the admin settings. So this is where you can add your other teammates. So you add other teammates here. I've got four team members, licenses remaining. Remember you get five free, which is really nice. Uh, those are like extensions, so they don't have direct dial. Now here on the main line, what I really like about Dialpad is the power of their virtual assistant. You can, of course, set up business hours and calling hours. So if you have specific hours that you're on, ah, now look at this, this is important. The free does not let you set the business hours. So now we're getting into the differences. So you will have a 24 by standard, standard greeting. You won't be able to have an uh, uh, hours, open and closed hours type of settings. So that would make me think that, yep, closed hours can't do that in the free. What else can't I do? Looks like I can set up a system greeting uh, operators. Okay, you can set up operator system greetings. I like this little uh, IVR here. Now you can't, you see this is disabled because you only have, you don't have um, departments in the free version. So you just got the dial by extension. All right, you can set up your greetings, your default system greeting, your open hours greeting. You can configure your whole music. They've got all types of whole music. Uh, I actually had a guy, um, I think he was in Indonesia. After our call ended, after 30 minutes, I dialed back in to the conference bridge and he was still listening to it because he said he loved the whole music. So I will give Dialpad some kudos for their whole music. Uh, advanced settings, uh, looks pretty straightforward there. So big thing here is you cannot set up specific hours of having an open and a closed time on the free. Uh, I never use the desk phones, but they do integrate if you actually wanted to use desk phones. I found that the mobile, uh, the, 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 the PC or the Mac client and then the mobile phone works perfectly well. Office settings, this is where you can set up other administrators uh, and who can allow team members to record their calls. That's probably, man, yeah, I actually could do that in the free. A caller ID, desk phone, set up executive assistance, pretty simple. Uh, you can't now that's interesting uh number porting i wonder if you can port your own number in on the free it looks like it's letting me go through the process so it says uh it lets you know that the e911 is not provided as a use but it looks like you might be able to port your own number in which would be pretty nice and in departments uh i should be able to create yep departments you can't do in the free version so there's definitely some limited settings here the big one though really being that, that you just can't have the after hours greeting um like you can on the paid so that that's really the big one but everything else here looks pretty really nice and pretty straightforward uh basic analytics on the free just like on the standard nothing too fancy there uh and then you've got your own personal settings so i like it i mean for free you really can't uh beat that looks like I am extension 0001, so I would assume as I add my four other people, you would dial this number and put their extension in to get to them. And, and again, for a free, uh, really powerful phone system that can grow with you as you grow as a company, uh, this is an excellent option on the marketplace now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go out to Facebook, subscribe to our Facebook page. We're always having good fun out there. And check out TechSmartBoss.com where we're doing a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, but until next time, stay tuned for the next video.